Andover Seminary, Nick Blumenthal has always worked to protect the people of Connecticut, voting to fund 100,000 new police officers, $45 million to strengthen local police departments, cracking down on drug trafficking and human trafficking. And Dick Blumenthal fought to pass the first gun safety legislation in 30 years to keep dangerous weapons out of the hands of dangerous people. I'm Dick Blumenthal, and I approve this message. From WFSB, Connecticut's number one local news, this is Channel 3 Eyewitness News at noon. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Tara Cumlin. Welcome to Eyewitness News at Noon. We begin with developing news in Middletown right now. This morning, police responded to reports of a shooting at Vinyl Tech. Now, we want to be very clear. Police have investigated and found that there was not, there was not a shooting at the school. The school, though, was still placed in lockdown to be safe while the investigation was going on. That lockdown has since been lifted. Milford police officers responded to reports of a man with a gun this morning. That scene unfolded in the area of Bridgeport Avenue. You can see there on your screen. It's in You're watching Channel 3 Eyewitness News with Kara Sutherland and early morning weather with Mike Swiper. Now, Eyewitness News at noon continues. Political heavyweights are brainstorming and they're going all around the country with midterm elections less than a week away. Former President Barack Obama is in Arizona today to support Democrats in the races for Senate and Governor, while former President Donald Trump will be in Iowa. All right, it may be November, but it's certainly not going to feel like it. No, we're talking low to mid, maybe even a couple of upper 70s this weekend. Here's the record where they stand. 76 both Saturday and Sunday in Hartford, 72 Saturday in Bridgeport, 71 on Sunday. And here's our forecast. We're thinking 74 inland for Saturday and Sunday close to 70 at the shoreline both days. So all it takes is a couple of degrees for us to get bumped up, and then all of a sudden we're talking about record warmth for the weekend. Don't forget that we also set the clocks back Saturday night into Sunday morning. Good time to check the batteries on smoke detectors, things like that. This mild weather sticks around right into the start of next week. Take a look at that, Karen. Not a single raindrop on the seven-day forecast. Certainly a nice. warm, uh, dry stretch to start off November. I can't believe that we're still talking about mid-70s. Mid 70s. And it looks like the weather's going to be okay for Election Day, too. So that's Looking great. great right now. That's our time for right now. We'll see you back here for a brand new Great Day Connecticut at 3. Join us for Eyewitness News starting at 4. And please follow us on social media. Until then, I'll see you on WFSB Plus right now. <laughs> This November, we're focused on stories that save you money. But we're not just watching your wallet, we're putting more in your pocket with the $1,000 a day giveaway. Watch for the keyword and they're on the Channel 3 app. Weekday mornings at 6 and again at 6 p.m. Only on Eyewitness News. Thanks. Start your day with Eyewitness News this morning. What a wild hit and run in Waterbury. We just saw a man drive into a crime scene and then slam into a police cruiser. And today he had his day in court. We'll break down what we learned about the man's criminal past. We're also previewing the only debate between the candidates running for U.S. Senate. Leora Levy will be taking on Richard Blumenthal right here at Channel 3. Chief political reporter Susan Rapp will set you up with everything you need to know about tonight's showdown. Unseasonably warm for November right now. We could be challenging record high temperatures by the time we get to the weekend. Plus, there's something cool that's going to be happening early next week. We'll break all of that down in your early morning forecast. From WFSB, Connecticut's number one local news. This is Channel 3 Eyewitness News at 4. And we start right now at 4 with a story we first brought you as breaking news last night right here at 11. Waterbury police revealing more about the suspect who drove through the scene of a deadly crash and almost ran police over. And he has a long rap sheet to tell you about this afternoon. Thanks for joining us here on Mark City. And hi everyone, I'm Erin Connolly. This was really a crazy scene last night. Channel 3 Waterbury Bureau Chief Dennis Valera is live exactly where it happened. Dennis, what have you learned? Suspect Myrice Hodge. He is originally from New York City and his criminal record dates back all the way to 2004, racking up a number of weapons and narcotics charges and adding nearly 10 more because of what happened here on Chase Avenue. Channel 3 Eyewitness News, Simsbury's number one local news. Scan to learn how to navigate through the social media noise with MediaWise. You're watching Channel.